Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about Legioner's um, uh, sixth play. Um, uh, you know, and this is a disarming technique that is shown with the sword and buckler, and we're going to apply it to a full size shield. Now, the first question becomes, you know, why would you want to use a disarming technique? Why wouldn't you just want to kill somebody? Uh, and and the answer to that is, not everybody needs to be killed. Okay, the person in question might be your friend who's drunk uh, and you know has picked up a sword and shield and you know is acting like a fool um, and we certainly don't want to kill him but we don't want him to hurt himself or anybody else so we need to safely disarm him uh, another situation might be uh, let's say the Duke's nephew is acting like a spoiled brat and he has a sword and a shield in his hand and we need to safely disarm him um, so there, there was rules and there was etiquette during medieval times you know, you just didn't kill everybody and anybody all the time, okay? So, uh, you know, in this uh, sword and buckler technique, we're going to modify it, uh, and it's going to accomplish the same goal. First thing we need to do is control the, the, you know, the weapon and also control the shield, okay? Um, so we're going to come in, come into measure, control that, step in, you know, basically get our shield in a position where we can control his shield and his weapon, Keep my sword over there to protect myself from that way. Come around to the back side. Get my hilt. I'm going to move the shield out of the way so you can see. Get my hilt behind his uh, shield. Basically, the, that hilt is going back here now. And from there, I'm in a position to drive him into the ground or push him off balance. Okay? Uh, let's do this one more time. So, as we come into measure, to control the weapon. Strike that shield to also control the shield. Protect ourselves from the weapon as we step to the side. Use, I, normally I would keep my shield here, but in order for you guys to see what I'm doing, I'm going to move it out of the way. I have my cross sword on his shield, and then from this position, I can push him down. And, and, and you know, once he's down, I can kick him or do whatever I need to do uh, to further disarm him. Okay? Uh, I learned this technique in the SEA during a melee practice. And the, um, the context of this was that what if you're behind enemy lines, right? So let's say you flank all the way around, you kill a couple of guys on the way around, and now you're behind em enemy lines, and um, you see that, that, that you know, the, the opposing team is threatening your teammates, and you need to stop them. Now, we don't, you, can't kill, you can't hit somebody from behind, okay? Uh, so how can you stop them from uh, attacking your teammates, at least temporarily? Uh, a technique that I was taught was basically come as you come in behind, get your shield behind their shield, and basically from there just push them off balance, okay? And that'll buy your teammates a little time. So basically, you're pushing on the back edge of the shield here, and that's basically going to turn them around and push them off balance. So it's a technique that I have found very effective. Um, I don't think too many people know about it because I don't see too many people using it, but I think it's very really cool, and I think that. It can be used in Legionnaire's uh, six play very effectively because it accomplishes the same thing. You are effectively disarming the person without hitting them with the sword, which would, you know, seriously harm them. Um, but if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a member, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.